What is up guys, this is your boy Groovies and today I want to walk you guys through exactly how to set up your domestic shipping rates in your Shopify store. Uh, obviously as your partner we want you guys to make as much money as possible with your online store and just deciding how you want to deal with shipping fees is uh, a pretty important piece of the puzzle. Um, in general your shipping costs can be something like 10 to 15 percent of your total um, cost of goods sold and so really thinking about how you want to kind of handle that shipping uh, is something that you need to think about up front and make sure you have your uh, store set up in the right way so that you're basically uh, planning really well around how you're managing your shipping costs. Just as a side note, the Applique dropshipping platform will charge you a shipping fee in addition to the product cost. And in general, we recommend that you take that shipping fee that you know Applique will be charging you and you set up that as your rate in Shopify. And so that's exactly what I will show you guys how to do right here in this video in the next couple minutes. I do also want to mention before we jump into that, that using the Applique and Shopify platform together, you do have a lot of options about how you can set up shipping. You can offer free shipping to customers. Uh, you could also, um, and, and when you do free shipping, you can include that in the cost of your products. Um, it can get a little bit complicated, but it's definitely possible to do. Um, or you could uh, also mark up the applique shipping rates. So you guys are essentially making money on the shipping fees as well. So there's a few different strategies here, but by far and away what, what tends to be the most common and what kind of works the best, I would say, just right out of the gate if you're getting started, is to set up your shipping rates to match the applique shipping rates identically. That just means that you're not really making money and you're not really losing money on shipping. And so you're kind of covering that by asking your customers to pay your shipping rates. All right, with that being said, let's jump into Shopify and do this. All right guys, so here we are in Shopify. We just logged in and we're on our homepage. Depending on how far along you are in building out your store, this could look a little different, but that's quite all right. What we're gonna be doing today is clicking in the lower left-hand corner on the settings menu. Before we jump in and set up shipping rates, there's just one setting that we do need to check. It's under the general area. And by default, when you create your Shopify account, it is going to set, uh, and you're in the US, it's going to set you to the Imperial system and the default weight unit will be pounds. When we need to go ahead and up that, update that to ounces, the US Postal Service uh, does everything by ounces and so uh, that's just the best setting to set up your shipping rate uh, by weight. So I'll go ahead and save that. And now once we have that setting set, It'll be super simple to go in and set up our shipping. So I've clicked on shipping and delivery and then uh, under settings and we'll click rates at checkout and then find the manage rates button. Now Shopify is great in that it gives you a tremendous amount of control over shipping. Um, and you'll see like right now um, there'll be a section for the applique dropship fulfillment. And depending on how your store is set up, you could have one or more than one shipping from a location. Like for example, if you're using a different fulfillment app in addition to a plea, that could have its own area. And those two apps could share rates, like these two right now are using the same set of rates down below. Or you can split a plea drop shipping app to have its own set of rates. In general, I think it's safer to have a plea on its own set of rates. So I'll go ahead and remove the plea drop ship fulfillment from that other set of rates that I have. And you'll see now it's pushed down to its own table and we'll have the option to add rates specifically for the Applique dropshipping app and we'll add some new rates. And the next thing that we need to do is create a shipping zone. Uh, this is kind of like a tricky terminology. It's just basically a country uh, or a group of countries uh, that you're going to group rates together. And it just helps you really keep uh, your rates organized. Um, in the back end of Shopify. So uh, since we're setting up domestic shipping, uh, I'm assuming you guys are all in the US and we're setting up the rates to ship packages within the US. That's what I mean by domestic. So let's go ahead and create the shipping zone. And now that we have the zone created, we can go ahead and begin adding rates to the Applique dropshipping app. And it's really easy to set up the rate. I would just call it something like domestic shipping. 
and then we can enter the rate for the cheapest shipping option which is $4.99 it's a flat rate for all of the United States and then we click add conditions based on item weight and the first uh, shipping weight band that you'll see in the table down below is between 0 and 15.9 ounces um, the previous configuration setting we made under general changed this from ounces to pounds um, and so this is just the most accurate way of doing it so we'll go ahead and add this rate and then we can continue adding the rates that you see in the table down below in this help file article we can call it domestic shipping again we can set the next rate as 1049 and then add conditions and say the minimum weight here is from one pound to just under two pounds which is actually 31 point nine ounces just remember that uh, the conversion is 16 ounces or in a pound uh, excuse me and I set that rate wrong it's not 1049 it's 1099 neither and then you can go and continue to just add the rates uh, the, uh, as many rates as you want to down below uh, from this table and just add them to your Shopify store a lot of these weight bands uh, can become like very very high um, and so we won't set this, I'm sorry, that needs to be 16 ounces to 31 ounces. That's the main setting there. Um, can be like very, very high. If you don't expect people to be buying like 50 or 100 hoodies at a time uh, from your site, you won't need to add all the super heavy weight ranges. I would just recommend you do something within reason, maybe up to like three pounds or a five pound order. That would cover like 99 probably percent of the orders that you would see from your store. So uh, that's everything you need to do to set up your domestic shipping rates for your store. I hope this little walkthrough was super helpful for you guys and you can get your rates set up accurately um, and get your store set up quickly and you can begin making money uh, the last thing you'll need to do is just save your changes when you're done and now those rates will be available when your your customers are checking out with a products in your store they will see that set of rates and it perfectly matches the rates that a will be charging you so uh, uh, you know peace be with you from downtown Los Angeles and uh, this is your boy groovies over and out